Imagine the distant reaches of time, nearly 4.6 billion years ago, when the solar system was but a swirling cloud of gas and dust orbiting a newly ignited sun. The birth of Earth was a violent and dramatic event. Gravity pulled together countless fragments, tiny grains of minerals, icy particles, and metallic specks into ever larger clumps. These growing bodies collided with tremendous energy, their impacts melting and fusing material into a single molten sphere. Inside this young planet, the heat from constant bombardment, gravitational compression, and radioactive decay kept the entire world in a churning, fiery state. As the newborn Earth continued to grow, heavier elements like iron and nickel gradually sank downward, pulled by gravity toward the center. This process formed the dense core, while lighter silicates rose and began to cool, creating the mantle and the planet's earliest crust. The Earth's surface, however, was far from stable. Volcanoes spewed gases and molten rock into the atmosphere. The sky, thick with vapor and ash, was a world away from the blue expanse we know today. Yet, within this chaos, the seeds of the future were being sown. As the planet cooled, a dramatic transformation unfolded. Water vapor, released by volcanic eruptions and lingering in the dense atmosphere, began to condense. For countless centuries, rain fell in torrents, drenching the cracked and barren surface. The water pooled in the deepest basins, gradually giving rise to the first oceans. Some of this water arrived from afar, carried by icy comets and asteroids that crashed into Earth, releasing their payloads with each impact. By about four billion years ago, the relentless rain and cosmic deliveries had filled Earth's primordial basins, and the world's first stable oceans shimmered under a faint, sunlit sky. With the formation of oceans, the stage was set for further change. The early crust was thin and unstable, constantly fractured by volcanic activity and the shifting of the planet's inner layers. The surface was a dynamic landscape, reshaped again and again as new crust formed, cooled, and was recycled. Amid this tumult, the first continental fragments, ancient pieces of stable rock known as cratons, began to coalesce around four to three and a half billion years ago. These cratons would become the heart of future continents, enduring through eons of tectonic upheaval. Over time, plate tectonics began to assert their influence. The Earth's crust split into vast plates, which drifted, collided, and broke apart under the relentless forces of the mantle below. Continents formed, separated, and rejoined, their outlines constantly redrawn by the deep, slow movements of the planet. The world's geography gradually evolved, giving rise to the familiar landmasses we recognize today. Though shaped by cycles of mountain building, volcanic eruptions, and erosion, beneath the waves, in the relative shelter of the ancient oceans, the first sparks of life flickered to existence. Around 3.8 to 3.5 billion years ago, life began in the water. Protected from the sun's harsh ultraviolet radiation by the ocean's depths and perhaps fueled by the chemical riches found there, scientists debate where, exactly, life made its debut. Some theories suggest the hydrothermal vents that dot the seafloor, places where mineral-laden water, heated by the planet's interior, pours into the ocean and creates a unique chemical environment. Other theories point to shallow tidal pools, where cycles of wetting and drying could concentrate organic molecules and spark the first self-replicating systems. The earliest life forms were humble and simple, prokaryotes, similar to today's bacteria. These microscopic organisms lacked a nucleus and other complex machinery, but they were astonishingly resilient. Over millions of years, they spread and diversified, mastering the art of survival in the planet's changing oceans. Their presence marked the beginning of a biological journey that would shape every aspect of Earth's future. Between 3.5 and 2.5 billion years ago, a profound transformation occurred in the ocean's microbial communities. Among the prokaryotes, a group called cyanobacteria developed the ability to use sunlight to fuel their metabolism a process known as photosynthesis. As these tiny cells absorbed carbon dioxide and released oxygen, the composition of Earth's atmosphere began to shift. This process, playing out over hundreds of millions of years, 
led to one of the most significant events in the history of life, the Great Oxidation Event, around 2.4 billion years ago. Oxygen, once rare in the atmosphere and oceans, became increasingly abundant. For many ancient organisms, this was a crisis. Oxygen could be toxic to cells unprepared for its reactive properties, but for others, it was an opportunity. Oxygen allowed for more efficient energy production, paving the way for the evolution of more complex life forms. The ocean, once dominated by simple bacteria, began to host an ever-growing diversity of life. Around two billion years ago, another leap in cellular complexity unfolded. The first eukaryotes appeared, cells with internal compartments, including a nucleus to house their genetic material. These eukaryotic cells could manage more sophisticated processes and soon gave rise to simple multicellular organisms. The ocean's inhabitants became more diverse, forming colonies, filaments, and sheets of cells that interacted in new ways. As the eons passed, life in the oceans continued to evolve. By about 600 to 540 million years ago, during the Ediacaran period, the first large soft-bodied animals emerged. These enigmatic creatures, some resembling disks, fronds, or ribbons, marked a new chapter in the history of life. They filled the ancient seas, experimenting with different forms and lifestyles, though few left lasting descendants. Then, around 540 million years ago, the Cambrian explosion began, a period of rapid diversification that reshaped the marine world. In a relatively brief span of geological time, the oceans teemed with new body plans and ecological roles. Many major animal groups appeared, including arthropods with jointed legs and hard exoskeletons, mollusks with shells and muscular feet, and chordates, which would eventually give rise to fish and all vertebrate animals. The Cambrian seas were bustling with life, from burrowing worms to swimming predators, each competing, adapting, and evolving in response to new challenges. The expansion of life did not stop at the ocean's edge. Over hundreds of millions of years, some organisms ventured onto land, developing new strategies to survive in air and on soil. Plants colonized damp shorelines, followed by arthropods, and eventually vertebrates. The continents, once barren and windswept, became lush with forests, insect swarms, and the first land-dwelling animals. Yet throughout all these changes, the ocean remained Earth's primary cradle of life. It continued to support an extraordinary range of organisms, from the tiniest plankton to the largest whales. Fish evolved and diversified, dominating the seas and giving rise to a myriad of forms. Marine reptiles patrolled the ancient oceans, while corals built vast underwater cities that supported entire ecosystems. Life in the ocean adapted to every niche, from sunlit surface waters to the pitch black depths of the abyss. The story of Earth, its oceans, continents, and living things is one of constant transformation and relentless innovation. From the fiery beginnings of the planet, through the cooling and condensation that gave birth to the seas, to the rise of land and the explosion of life. Each chapter set the stage for the next. The ocean, in particular, played a central role, not only as the birthplace of life, but as a continuous engine of evolution and diversity. Today, the legacy of these ancient processes is all around us. The continents drift and shift, reshaped by tectonic forces. The oceans, though familiar, remain mysterious and teeming with life much of which is still undiscovered. The air we breathe owes its clarity to the oxygen produced by photosynthetic organisms billions of years ago. The rocks beneath our feet hold the fossils of creatures that lived, died, and adapted in ancient seas. And every living thing, from the simplest microbe to the most complex animal, carries within its cells the story of evolution, a narrative written over billions of years. In summary, Earth emerged from the dust of the early solar system, forged by heat and gravity. As it cooled, oceans formed, collecting water from both the atmosphere and icy bodies from space. Continents arose through the dynamic action of plate tectonics, creating the land masses that would later host forests, deserts, and cities. Life began in the sheltering embrace of the ocean, evolving from simple, single-celled organisms 
to the dazzling diversity of animals and plants we see today. Though life eventually spread to land, the ocean remains the heart of Earth's biosphere, a place of endless wonder and possibility. The journey from molten rock to blue planet, from barren ocean to thriving world, is a testament to the power of change, adaptation, and time. It is a story still unfolding as Earth's oceans and continents continue to shape the destiny of life. And as we look to the future, exploring the depths and learning more about our planet's past, we are reminded that Earth's greatest treasures may still lie hidden beneath the waves waiting to be discovered.